drive away hunger and help so many local families who are in need right now. The community coming together for the annual Stuff the Bus food drive. CBS 8's Chris Grow live at the Jacobs and Cushman San Diego Food Bank where they have a full on big operation there and you're here to show us how we can all make a difference. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning, Annetta, and it really is empowering whenever you get to visit the San Diego Food Bank, but especially when they're doing one of these really great food drives because you realize exactly what the need is in this community, but also how you at home can make a difference. And I'm joined now by Casey Castillo with the San Diego Food Bank. And Casey, I'm going to actually step out of the way here and bring you a little bit more into focus because we're talking about the exact type of foods that are needed because we have kind of a, a specific need here when it comes to actually donating food that's some people may not be aware of. So what type of food are uh, the best for being donated? Yeah, thank you. We try to make it really easy on those at home. You can shop at any Vons Albertsons throughout the county, and we have a list of our most needed items on our website. And then, of course, we have it here displayed. We're looking at peanut butter, uh, canned uh, fish, canned tunas, uh, canned fruits and vegetables, uh, dry products. We have some dry products listed here, rice, beans, um, and again, canned meats. Those are most needed items, um, and that, that food can go a long way. I was just going to say, it really sounds like by the type of the food that you're describing, it's more so about efficiency when it comes to the type of food that you're donating. Uh, ease and efficiency. Yeah. And again, you're at the store, you can buy one or two items. Hopefully that's not a, a, a big deal uh, for you, but it makes a big difference to families in need. And a lot of partners are involved in this when we're talking about putting on this type of food bank. Uh, MTS obviously taking on one of the bigger roles here and also, uh, you know, trying to make sure that we're helping out families. And Gracia joining us here with MTS. And Gracia, we were just talking about uh, obviously the food that you can buy in person, but there's a bit of that online. Yeah. Uh, element as well too, right? What's really cool is that after the pandemic, we really had to think about, think outside the box. So now there's an online option for people to go ahead and donate. Like if they were basically at the store, it's kind of like, it looks like a storefront. It looks like you are at the store. There's a cashier. You kind of drop the uh, the items that you want on um, on your bag and you can cash it out. You can cash out like if you're at the store. And it's really cool because it kind of looks like a video game so the kids can get involved. They can pick what they want to buy. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome. And again, really involving people into helping make a difference. It's more than just a cash donation. I mean, you can kind of put a little personal touch on it, if you will. Absolutely. And we have the San Diego Girl Scouts joining us well. There's about 54 troops joining this Saturday that are going to be part of this campaign. I mean, this is a two week campaign, but Saturday is really the last day. We want people to go ahead, go out to the Vons and Albertsons and donate food and help it make a change and difference in so many people's lives. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And guys, I want to direct your attention real quick before we send you back out here again to the type of foods that we're talking about. Cannot stress this enough. Dry foods, canned meats, peanut butter, canned vegetables, canned fruits, and canned soup that those all can make a difference. In fact, I remember speaking about peanut butter. You can get so many meals out of a jar of peanut butter. It's high in that protein and that good fat. Again, really good for kids, but also really good for families that, again, have and are struggling with that food insecurity. So for more information, you can always go to CBS8.com and click on that story link for more ways to donate and more ways to help. Evan and Netta. Chris, this is so important you're pointing out. Thank you so much for that, especially with that latest news of our inflation being at a 40 year record high. So, of course, things cost a lot. People yeah. are struggling and peanut butter. Great option. there, yeah. Like you mentioned, yeah. a lot of great options. Thank you, Chris. And here's